Sheriff McMahon, as you know, we have a new federal administration in Washington, D.C. now, and there's a lot of renewed talk about immigration reform and enforcement. It's once again a major issue, a lot of people talking about it. Do your, do your patrol deputies ever enforce federal immigration law? No. Deputy sheriffs in San Bernardino County do not do street-level immigration enforcement. The only time the immigration status of anybody is questioned in our county by our deputy sheriffs is when somebody is lawfully booked into one of our county detention centers. At that point, their fingerprints are electronically transferred to the federal authorities, FBI, ICE, etc. If that person is deemed to be a priority for ICE, we will receive a notification from ICE that they want to detain that individual and they want us to no notify them at the time of their release. We've heard a lot of talk about ICE detainers, a phrase that's being heard a lot. Can you tell us exactly what those are and how you handle those? An ICE detainer is a request from ICE for law enforcement agencies to hold an inmate for an additional 48 hours past their county release. What that means for the county of San Bernardino is when an inmate is due to be released from the county jail, their charges are complete, their sentence is complete, whatever the circumstances warrant, ICE asked us to detain that individual for an additional 48 hours. A couple of years ago, a federal court decided that additional detention was a violation of the Fourth Amendment without some type of judicial review, meaning that the ICE officials would have to provide the law enforcement agency with a warrant or probable cause declaration reviewed and signed by a judge. Because they don't provide that judicial review, we no longer detain those individuals past their county release time. In 2005, your department entered into an agreement with ICE known as the 287G program. Employees in your county jails were trained by ICE to conduct immigration interviews and uh, place de those detainers we were talking about. Is 287G still being implemented by your department? The 287G program in our county was suspended in 2014, primarily because of changes in laws as well as a recent court decision. As we've already discussed, the Clackamas County, Oregon decision prevented law enforcement agencies from detaining those wanted by ICE for the additional 48 hours. In addition, in California, Assembly Bill 4, commonly referred to as the Trust Act, limited our ability to place ICE detainers on certain inmates. Because of the reduction in the number of inmates eligible for ICE detainers, the program was no longer valid or worth the time that it took our employees to participate. As an example, in 2016, 83,000 people were booked into jails in the San Bernardino County. Out of those 83,000 booked, only 424 inmates were eligible for ICE detainers. Sheriff, this week the Director of Homeland Security released a memo encouraging local and state law enforcement to reinstate the 287G program. Do you have any plans for doing that? I'm aware of the executive order that calls for law enforcement agencies to participate in the 287G program. As I earlier indicated, we suspended the program because it was not effective based on current court decisions as well as state and federal law. If the laws change or the judicial review process enabling us to detain for the additional 48 hours changes, we will reevaluate that program. Sheriff, elected officials in Sacramento are submitting legislation to keep local and state law enforcement agencies from effectively dealing with ICE altogether, or so it seems from what I've seen. That's referred to as Senate Bill 54. What are your thoughts on that legislation? Yes, I'm very familiar with Senate Bill 54. I've read the proposed language, and I've just signed an, a letter of opposition to the author. My concern with preventing law enforcement from having the ability to communicate with ICE or any other federal agency for that matter puts the safety of our citizens at risk. As most are familiar, on December 2nd, we had a terrible event occur in the county of San Bernardino. One of the suspects involved in that case, although legally in the country, came into the country through the K-1 visa process. We reached out to ICE to determine how that individual was allowed in the country who was the sponsor, 
and obtain some background information. That was critical to our ability to investigate that case. That could happen anywhere across the country and preventing local law enforcement, specifically in the state of California, from working with ICE could put the safety of our public in serious jeopardy. Sheriff, you recently traveled to Washington, D.C. and spoke with the current Attorney General. Uh, I know that was reported locally in the news media, and I know some people are wondering what was discussed and uh, what direction is uh, immigration enforcement taking locally. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. I travel annually to Washington, D.C. and meet with the major county sheriffs of America. We regularly interact with legislators, the attorney general, on occasion the vice president, and in this particular case, the president spoke to the group. I believe it's important to have those conversations with our federal law enforcement partners, specifically the attorney general. The day I met with then Senator Sessions was the day before he was confirmed as the attorney general. He was willing to meet with local law enforcement. That meeting was specifically California sheriffs about a variety of issues that give us the ability to do our job. Asset forfeiture, immigration concerns, and a variety of others. I think it's important as a law enforcement leader in the county of San Bernardino to have those meetings with those officials at the federal level, get their perspective on what law enforcement collaboration and cooperation with our federal partners will look like into the future. Immigration was one of the topics that we did discuss. I did explain to the then Senator Sessions that our concern was the ability to detain those inmates wanted by ICE for up to 48 hours and the need for law enforcement to have some type of document indicating judicial review so that detention is legal. So are those discussions that you had in Washington, are they going to result in any specific changes or innovations here locally? Senator Sessions, now Attorney General Sessions at the time, was very open to hearing the concerns specifically from the California sheriffs. He was familiar with the judicial review requirement for the extra 48-hour detention of those wanted by ICE. He expressed to us that he was going to look into that process and see what if the government could do something differently that would help us and allow us to detain those individuals for ICE. To be quite honest, those that are wanted by ICE that are detained in our facilities are dangerous criminals. If we allow that inmate to walk out of our jail and ICE isn't there to pick them up, that inmate returns to the community. That could pose a danger for the public that we serve and try to protect by allowing a known criminal to re-enter their communities. But in addition, ICE will then go into those neighborhoods looking for that individual and ultimately make the arrest on their own. It's much safer for everybody involved if we can hand off that inmate from our custody to the custody of ICE and they can continue through their process. Sheriff, um, I know you've spoken in the past about how you want all residents in San Bernardino County to feel safe. And it's important for you that individuals in the county feel safe reporting crime. Talk to us a bit about that too, please. Yes, it's very important to get the cooperation of the citizens that we serve and to do the very best we can to keep all of them safe. We don't want people to hesitate to report crime or report that they're victims of crime because they're concerned that the deputy sheriff responding to that call will question their immigration status. The only time their immigration status is questioned is when they're lawfully booked into one of the facilities in San Bernardino. Law enforcement as a whole needs the cooperation of the citizens it serves to help make everybody in this county safer. Sheriff, thanks very much for taking the time to be with us today and to answer these questions and to provide the clarification you have. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.